Hello everyone, welcome back to Old Country Cooks. I'm Chef John, Rebecca's behind the camera. Today we're gonna to make homemade chicken noodle soup. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna use what ingredients we have here. Uh, we're gonna come down here and we'll show you what I have. All right, I have uh, five chicken thighs. I have some uh, rotini noodles. I got the tri-color, just give it some color to it. You can use egg noodles wherever you like. We have a can of corn. I just happen to have some Mexican corn. I have the bay leaf, two bay leaves. I have four cloves. I have some poultry seasoning, some tarragon, and some thyme. A half a onion. It's just a regular white onion. Two regular size celery stalks and about two small carrots and we have some uh, chicken stock and if we need to strengthen it up we'll add a little uh, chicken polla to it but we'll test that at the end and see how it goes so let's go to making this all right first thing we do we're just going to uh, do the fine cut or the fine dice on the uh, garlic we just Rebecca has this wonderful press that we hardly ever use Next, we're going to cut this onion up. Next, we're just going to go ahead and cut the carrots up. You can cut them kind of thin. Next, we want to take our celery. We're going to add a little ghee in here while this pot's warming up. Cut these thighs in half just so they cook more even. I'm just gonna put a little salt pepper on them right now. And when we get them on there, we'll put them just a little bit more on them. We're gonna get our vegetables in there. And we just want to cook these until the onions start turning translucent. Just take a couple of minutes. Alright, we're going to slide these over a little bit to the side. We're going to try to get these chickens in here. Salt the chicken a little bit more. A little more pepper. Go ahead and drop these bay leaves in here. Got a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Got just shy of a half a teaspoon of thyme. And the same with uh, in the tarragon.
we're going to go ahead and pour some of our broth in here. Three quarts. We'll bring this back up to a simmer. We'll go ahead and add this. Uh, corn in here, juice and all. Gonna give it some extra flavor. This will go for about, once we get it simmered, for about 15 minutes. All right, the chicken's done. So we're gonna take it out. We'll get up here so I don't make too much mess so Rebecca, Rebecca don't holler at me. Try to grab a bay leaf or two. Only had two in there, so I think I got all the chicken out. I'm gonna bring this back to a simmer. And I'm I'm not gonna put the whole box in here. I'm just gonna put about half the box. This noodle's gonna expand before we're done. So we got it simmered. Now if you're going to meal prep this, I suggest you cook your noodles on the side or in some of this stock. Uh, and don't eat, cook them about halfway done. And I'm going to show you some containers that we're going to put them in in a little bit. So I'm going to shred this chicken while this is cooking all right we're almost done I'm gonna boost the flavor just a tad I'm gonna put a teaspoon of chicken polla in here by uh, Norse This will enhance that chicken flavor. Got the, it's almost done. I got the meat shredded. We're going to get it back in here. Small pieces, big pieces. Boy, this is good for a cold, especially the steam that comes off to help open up your sinuses. This was loaded with meat, vegetables. All right, so we're getting some more. That's good. Looks good. Ready. Taste test. Mmm. Guys, yeah, really good. Delicious. Depth flavor. Good thing Rebecca said add 
a little bit of that chicken puya. It boosted the flavor. There was a little bit of extra butter on the side to give when we cooked it. I just skimmed it off. It wasn't much. But man, this is delicious. You can use uh, chicken breast for this. Mm. Instead of noodles, you could use rice, beans, potatoes. Yeah. yeah. This, is good. this is just a good chicken base. And I do have a cold coming on, so this is great for me. If you're going to meal prep this, I'll suggest you cook the noodles. You can cook it in the stock. Don't cook it all the way. Cook it about halfway done and separate it. So when you go back to reheat it up, then you put them in, in there when it gets almost done and it'll finish them off cooking. If you put these in there like that, they're going to be probably soggy, right? Fall right. apart. Probably fall apart on you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and package this up. Uh, I'm going to show you some new containers that I've got. They're from Mossimi, M-O-S-S-I-M-E. Uh, they're wonderful. I, I just did a video ad on those. So go look at them. Uh, you can get them from Amazon. I'll leave the link down those in this show more. And if you watch the other video, it'll be a short video. You please go watch it and uh, go check them out on Amazon. All right. First time here, please subscribe, share, like, comment. What else? Ring the bell. Ring that bell. Most important, y'all come, come back. back. Bye. Bye.